Hello guys, it's Kyolin here. Um, I'm going to show you all today how to make a rockwood bait. Um, ideally, you'd want to fish for the rockwood early in the morning or late at night in the dark, preferably in the dark. The mornings would be your second best bet. Uh, this is my, my fishing life deep trace that I make. And this is what I use to target rockwood. It's usually a big hook on the bottom and a smaller hook on the top. Uh, today I put a much smaller hook because I'm fishing, I'm scratching for general and during the day. Chance of a rock hard is, is slim, but there is a chance. So this, this video is basically just to demonstrate how to I put my bait. So I'm gonna use a red eye today. But you could use anything, you can use an octopus to a trucker, to see anything. Rock hard like big bait so so try to keep your bait slightly big. Uh, today I'm gonna use so I use a, a red eye to target the rock out. So this is my trace for fishing life. The double hook trace, two circle hooks. They have the glow in the dark form, but uh, today that won't really matter to fish in the daytime. I get it to open. Spin the top hook a couple times. The trace is open. That simple. On the bottom, I've got a sinker snoot, a thinner, a thinner line, this is 25 pounds. And I'm going to attach a 5 ounce sinker to that. Okay, I lost my 5 ounce. So I'll have a 5 ounce sinker attached to this. As you can see, the hook is smaller on the top. Because there's a possibility of a brown dream or a smaller fish, so I kept the hook pretty small at the top. The bottom hook is a 5 0 Mutsu circle hook. It's snelled. All these traces are available on my page. Just message me. Okay, so. So, like I said, a double hook trace. My trace is pretty simple. All you do is attach your 5 ounce sinker or whatever the. I think you find appropriate. Pull it through the loop. And that's the trace. I've shortened in the trace because the area I'm fishing is pretty shallow. So my trace is pretty short today. Uh, fishing deeper ledges can increase the length. But today my, my base is short. Okay, so we're gonna Hi, our, our red eye. So, here's my red eye. It's a pretty old red eye from last year, I think. Uh, yeah. Like I said, on the bottom of the big oak, the 5 0 circle. Ideally, you you want to put a mushy big bait, uh, you can use the head. I do use the head, but for for this uh, specific throw, I'm not going to use the head. I'm going to use more of the belly section coming down the cut cutlet. The first few cutlets are going to be thick, and then I'm going to go thinner from there. So I'm cutting it in, a, in an angle, as you can see. This will be my, my next bait. The head. All I do is just keep that, keep the angle, and just keep cutting through. First cutlet. Second one. Okay. So these are my two main cutlets that I'll be using on the base. If you really want to, you can add some foam. But uh, I just fish straight onto the hook. All I'm doing is putting the bait just to circle around. The back of the hook is pretty flush. You can make out here. That's, that's all you're doing. He's gonna bind it. 
so you can put a you make a slight split if you want to, but I'm not. I'm just gonna hold the base slightly. I've got the the fish ASA cotton here. Uh, I'm using the ultra thin today. Sorry about that guys, some people are walking past. As I was saying, this is gonna wrap the base of some cotton. The bottom piece you want pretty firm. I'm gonna use quite a bit of cotton on the bottom of, on the bottom base. As you layer it up, put less. Okay. That's basically what we're looking for. I'm just gonna make a couple slips to the base, to the top lift. Then I'll be wrap it around. Okay, yeah. Put the bloody side on top of this one. Keep wrapping it a bit. Important to also put cotton the top here, so the hook doesn't slide forward. And I'll secure the hook much better. Around the hook, pull the hook slightly up, cut it down. The hook up, pull, as you can see, I pull the hook up. Keep cutting. I also want to caution this, it doesn't play out. Keep your weight pretty straight line. So basically what we have done, just cotton um, red eye onto the hook, onto the five or circle hook. Uh, I'm gonna pull the hook forward just now and just gonna add a play like on two or three more cutlets to this. As you can see, all we did so far was just add some uh, cotton onto the red eye. We put two cutlets, two thick cutlets, and we're gonna pull the hook forward and add about three cutlets more to this space to make it nice and big. I'm not going to add a cut this, I'm just going to cut the tail section. Split it open. All I did was split the tail section open. I'm going to stop my hammer. Snatch it up a little bit. Like I said, the rocker is like a mushy bait. Put extra cotton around the hook just to secure the hook and to keep the hook proud. Yeah, so that's it. Pull the hook 
slightly forward. That's, ba that's basically your bait for the rock art. Simple bait, it doesn't need to look pretty. It, it just needs to be big. Bloody if it's a red eye. Then your, for your next bait, we have your red eye head and, a, and a, another cutlet, which we keep later on. Next on my top hook, I'm going to use some, uh, some cracker. Not if there's any bronzies or whatever around. Because we are fishing in the daytime, and not the perfect condition to fish with rock art because we want to fish at night or early morning for them. Yeah. Add a cup of tackle here. I'll just then uh, fish SA cotton. What is? And here's my chase. My five ounce sinker. Single line is pretty short. Jack on the top hook. But ideally, this is what we're focusing on: is this bottom hook. This bottom hook for the the rock out. The nice, beautiful, bloody bait. Thank you, guys. Hopefully, we we'll get a fish and get some pictures. <laughs>